OK, you're live now. All right. So this talk is on serverless bot building. Um, so first of all, what does that mean? Um, uh, well, there, there are a few aspects to this. First, I'm going to be talking about what serverless means um, and how to actually create a serverless service using the serverless framework. And then as for the, the bot, it'll be created using AWS Lex, which provides basically natural language understanding as a service. And then I'll demo it with a um, little project I put together using all of these things. First of all, serverless. Um, it's basically a model where you build a service without actually interacting with the servers. There are obviously still servers involved, but your cloud provider um, abstracts them away. So instead of actually SSHing into a machine and uh, messing with config files and uh, startup scripts and whatnot, you just write a handler function in Python or Node or your language of choice. So this is really good at event-driven microservices. Um, if you need a small function to run when a thing happens, this is a really good model for that. It scales really well and uh, costs nothing for low-volume services. And when I say nothing, I mean literally nothing. Uh, with AWS Lambda, they give you a million free uh, requests handled per month forever. So it's really good for like small like personal microservices and stuff that you don't want to have to pay for to deploy. And all the major cloud providers have uh, serverless offerings like Amazon has Lambda, Azure and Google Cloud, just call them functions. Um, so for this bot, I'm going to be using serverless um, to actually uh, configure and deploy this. Um, using configuration as code, which just means everything required to deploy the thing goes into version control, um, which is really good for, for DevOps and um, just uh, development processes in general. Um, with AWS, this usually means writing CloudFormation templates. CloudFormation basically allows you to write JSON or YAML that describes your infrastructure, so you can use it to describe EC2 instances or um, RDS databases or whatever in AWS, and you do that as code, and it will um, actually create and manage those resources for you, where all you do is modify the modify a JSON or YAML file. And the serverless framework provides an abstraction on top of that. Um, so when I say serverless framework, I mean this, serverless.com. It's actually just called serverless framework. Um, and this basically gives us some high-level tools that'll take a function and create a cloud formation template and deploy it for us. Um, and then the last component I'll be using is Lex, which is natural language understanding. Um, it's really hard for robots to understand humans sometimes. If you've ever used Siri or Alexa or Cortana, you probably know this. Um, there's a term for that. It's called AI hard. And Amazon Lex basically makes it so we don't have to worry about this. We can send Amazon Lex our input, and it'll um, attempt to interpret the user's intent and give us um, a structured uh, interpretation of that intent that we can fulfill. So this makes it so that we don't have to worry about variations of the phrase, you know, what time is it? Because um, there are a lot of ways people can ask that question, and uh, we don't want to have to worry about all that. This is the same tech that powers Alexa, so that's the kind of uh, natural language understanding you can expect to get out of this. I've created a project, github.com slash ccbrown slash serverless bot. It's right here. You can check it out to sort of follow along, but this will actually deploy the thing. Um, using the serverless framework, the magic of configuration as code, it's really easy. 
will go serverless deploy. Dash V is just for verbose, so we can kind of see what it's doing. Um, and that'll actually take the code I've written here and spin it up and deploy it to Amazon. While it's doing that, um, let's actually look at the code I've written. Um, so first of all, in serverless, everything is defined in a serverless.yaml. I'm basically defining a function to handle uh, the webhook events from a Slack or Mattermost uh, installation. And that webhook, I've written, just um, takes our event and sends it off to AWS Lex and uh, fulfills our intentions, which um, I've defined in some Python files, such as get current time. So here I've defined one. It's really simple. I provide a sample utterance, which is you know, what the user might say or ask to trigger this intent. Right here, I've just added what time is it. Uh, and then I provide a method to fulfill it. Let's see. So should finish in any moment. And then I can actually demo this. To demo it, I'm going to um, create a channel on our little test server here. It's going to create an outgoing webhook, put it on the bot test channel. serverless bot, doesn't need triggers, and I'll give it a callback as soon as this is finished. And we can see, if we want to go to Amazon, that this is in the process of deploying a CloudFormation stack. So this is actually creating all of the AWS resources that will form our bot. So the S3 bucket, IAM roles, all of that. Let's see. Yeah, right now it's taking a while to create this IAM role. It shouldn't take long. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe it's This is definitely not supposed to be the part that breaks. I don't think it's broken. I think it's just being slow, though. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's go to US West two over here.
Oh, okay. Now it's making progress again, of course. There we go. That usually does not take that long. So now it should give me a URL for my webhook. I'm going to paste that in there. So the bot should be listening here. And there you have it. Very useful. Um, now, you can get a little fancier than this. Um, you know, just responding to an, an utterance isn't that useful alone. But with AWS Lex, you can define slots. So um, here I can say, OK, if someone asks who is and then puts a person's name, we, the, the intention is to learn more about that person. Um, alternatively, they can say things like, you know, who is that? Who is this person? And you know, not give a person's name. And we can follow up by asking who. So who is Barack Obama? And serverless bot will happily direct us to Google it. Um, who is this person? Barack Obama. No, same thing. So it can actually maintain some state and um, have somewhat of a conversation uh, with the person. And um, like I mentioned before, we don't have to worry about uh, variations of these questions. AWS Lex provides that. When we're done, uh, we can just destroy everything with serverless remove. It'll take everything out of AWS as if it were never there. Uh, so like I mentioned before, you can find this um, code, this complete bot on GitHub. There are some basic instructions for getting it up and running. I hope this was a useful introduction to serverless bots. And thank you for watching.